fractals date all the way back to the 17th century, when this man, Gottfried Leibniz, a German mathematician and philosopher, pondered on the concept of self-symmetry, one that he believed applied only to straight lines. However, it was then that he coined the term fractional exponents, one that he lamented geometry did not yet know of. This work was then left alone until two centuries later when this man, Karl Weierstrass, presented the first definition of a function with a graph that would today be considered a fractal. His lectures inspired this man, George Cantor, who attended Weierstrass's lectures. He then published examples of subsets of lines known as the Cantor sets. From there, others were able to branch off of his work, resulting in the famous Sierpinski triangle, the Levy C curve, and the Julia set. Today we recognize a fractal as something that is the same near as it is far. To demonstrate this, take a piece of paper, colored works best, and fold it in half. Then, using a pair of scissors, cut it in the middle about halfway through. Then, fold over the top portion of your cut. Now here comes the tricky part. Open up the piece of paper and invert the folded portion like so. This will now set the pattern for your fractal and can be repeated by cutting midway, halfway through, both the bottom section and top section of the piece of paper. Then invert the folds as we did before. This pattern can then be repeated another time. Then just open up your paper. I would suggest putting a different colored piece behind it as I did here to help you see the folds a little bit better. But if you're a numbers person, the same algorithm can be illustrated this way. Take for example 5 equals 5. The second 5 can be replaced with 25 over 5, and that can then be replaced with 17 over 5 plus 8 over 5. So since 5 equals 17 plus 8 over 5, those additional 5s can then again be replaced with 17 plus 8 over 5. This sets the basis for our fractal. Start out with 17 plus 8 and then instead of writing 5, put 17 plus 8 and 17 plus 8. And then again, 17 plus 8 plus 17 plus 8 and 17 plus 8. And this just keeps going indefinitely. And no matter how many times you do it, it will always equal 5. And that is the basis for a fractal.